Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 11.04 a.m., and it's Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing another flavor of these G Fuel Energy Drinks. This one is a limited edition flavor, so it's a limited time flavor. And I got it at the Walmart in McAllister, and I was in these, um, like, um, coolers by the checkout aisles, you know what I mean? But um, anyway, this one sounds like it's going to be pretty interesting. We shall see, though. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing... The Ragin' Gummy Fish G Fuel Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, it has a silver top with a silver tab. Bombs the Best Buy date and production code Best Buy, July 11th, 2022. 7-Eleven, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, around the top it says, Performance Energy, Limited Edition, Zero Sugar, Extreme Focus, Inspired by Fozzie Jev. G Fuel Raging Gummy Fish, Energy Drink, 16 fluid ounces, 1 pint, 473 milliliters. Contains natural and artificial flavors. Zero calories per can. I'm not really for sure. I always say it's like Fozzie for some reason. I don't know why. But it might be phase, I'm not really for sure. Uh, I heard like a streamer say Fozzie Clan, you know, but um it might be phase, I'm not really for sure, but I'm um, anyway. G Fuel, the official drink of esports, and it shows the Fozzie guy, Jev, I guess. It has like a blue swirly pattern with the dark blue and stuff, and it has some dots and stuff. Looks similar to the other G Fuel cans, a little bit like a comic book inspired design with like the dots and stuff, I don't know. It's very, like, um, action-y, you know, like an action comic, but you know what I mean? But, um, anyway. Yeah, it has SKU, warning too much caffeine may cause sleeplessness, irritability, nervousness, and possibly rapid heartbeat. Not recommended for use by individuals under the age of 18. One serving of G Fuel provides 300 milligrams caffeine, which is more than two cups of coffee. Some vitamins are likely to degrade at the time of manufacturing. Caution, do not use this part if you are pregnant or nursing. Do not consume this part if you have a medical condition and or are taking any prescription drug. This part contains caffeine and should not be used with any other products containing caffeine. This part is intended for use by healthy individuals only. User of this part assumes all liability if used in a manner not consistent with label guidelines. So yeah, you know, don't OD drink in moderation and stuff because it's strong. It has other ingredients. It has the green coffee bean extract, green tea extract. It has tart cherry, blueberry, broccoli, and kale. It has the crown logo and some other codes. Nutrition facts are in size 1 can, 473 milliliters, amount per serving calories 0. Total fat 0 grams, 0%, sodium 60 milligrams, 3%. Total carbohydrate 0 grams, 0%. Total sugar 0 grams, includes 0 grams added sugar 0%. Protein 0 grams. Potassium 210 milligrams, 4%. Niacin 4 milligrams, 25%. Vitamin B12 0.6 micrograms, 25%. Vitamin C 45 milligrams, 50%. Vitamin B6 0.4 milligrams, 25%. Has some other stuff, 300 milligrams caffeine per 16 fluid ounces. It says 300 milligrams of caffeine in the entire can. So, oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit. It will get you lit, you know, just saying. It's driven by G Fuel LLC, 113 Alder Street, West Babylon, New York, 11704. Questions or comments, call telephone numbers 877-426-6262. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. So anyway, I'll let you see it right quick. It's a little bit reflective, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, there's the guy on the can, you know. Yeah, Raging Gummy Fish. So I think this is going to be similar to the, um, the candy, um, Swedish fish. They couldn't say it, I guess, because, you know, for copyright reasons, but you know what I mean? They couldn't call it that. They could have partnered with them, like, um, Beyond Royal Lit did with Jolly Rancher, but, um, they didn't. Because, you know, they probably had to pay, like, a licensing fee and stuff, but you know what I mean? But, um, anyway, that's interesting, though. There's the guy on the can. Inspired by is a little bit hard to see. Sorry about that. Raging gummy fish. Text at the bottom might be a little bit hard to see too. It's like dark blue against like a blue background. Sorry about that. Okay, here's the SKU and the warning and stuff. And 
the other ingredients are probably going to be a little bit hard to see. I don't know why they're using like a dark blue text against like a blue background. Hopefully you can see it. You'll probably have to pause it wherever you know. The other codes and stuff. Okay, anyway, here's the nutrition facts. Distributor information. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. Anyway, I'm gonna shake it up, open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it, no artificial colors like the other ones, so it's clear, it's a little bit bubbly, you know, just saying. But yeah, anyway, the smell, well. Oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, well, well, well. Um, I never really had the Swedish fish candy, so I can't really say if it smells like that or not. But, um... The Swedish Fish Candy are red and they're gummy, I don't know. I think they're similar to like the Sour Patch Kids, um, but um, anyway. This does smell similar to like the Red Berry, like Sour Patch Kids, um, you know, gummy. And also like the Red Berry Sour Patch Kids Ghost Energy Drink. It smells a little bit like that, it reminds me of that. It has like a berry or like a cherry type of scent. Maybe a mixed berry. It does have a little bit of that, um, like gummy candy type of smell. Like, um, like a white gummy bear, you know? So, yeah, it does have a little bit of a citrusy, fruity smell, but you know what I mean? Um, yeah, definitely very sweet smelling, very fruity. Um, but anyway, I can't compare to a Swedish fish, because I haven't had one of those, so you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I think those are similar to, like, the Sour Patch Kids, though, I'm not really for sure, but, um, anyway. Anyway, now I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Well. Mm -hmm. Well. It does taste like um. Like a red sour patch kid a little bit, like the red sour patch uh, kid um ghost energy drink. But um it tastes um has a little bit more of like a monster um like the um I'm not really sure if it's absolutely zero, but it might be the low carb. It tastes a little bit like the low carb monster in the aftertaste. It has a little bit of that same citrusy um type of taste. Yeah, the aftertaste. Definitely reminds me of like a low carb monster. The beginning part's definitely like a berry, like a mixed berry or something. Maybe a little bit like strawberry or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely reminds me of like strawberry at first. And then it gets like that or like original like um low carb type of monster taste. So it's like a berry and then a citrus, you know? Um sweet, a little tart. And a little tangy. Maybe a little bit sour in the aftertaste. But, um, yeah. It's good, but, um, not my favorite G Fuel. It's a very interesting flavor, though, that's for sure. Has a cool can design. I like the colors of it. It was okay price. It was $1.90 at Walmart. This is a limited edition flavor, so you'll have to try to get it soon, you know, if you want it. You know, just saying. But yeah, energy-wise, has 300 milligrams of caffeine. So, oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit. It will get you lit, you know, just saying. Don't OD, drink in moderation. You probably shouldn't drink if you have anxiety problems and stuff, but you know what I mean? But yeah, um, this one definitely tastes similar to the Red Berry Sour Patch Kids Ghost Energy Drink. But if you mix that with, like, a um low-carb monster, I guess, um, this is what that will taste like. But you know what I mean? But yeah, it does taste um pretty good, but um. I can't compare it to like the Swedish fish gummies because I haven't really had those before. I've seen them a lot of times though, but I just never got them, you know, but you know what I mean? 
But yeah, um, I guess it does have a little bit of a gummy candy taste. Um, a little bit like a white gummy bear, a little bit. But um, yeah, definitely mixed with like the Sour Patch Kids red gummy though. Um, that's what it reminds me of, you know what I mean? But yeah, energy-wise it definitely works really good. It has a cool can design. It's definitely okay priced. Um, energy-wise it works good. The taste is good, but um, I don't know. It has a little bit of that low-carb monster aftertaste. And um, the low carb monster, I like it, but um, I don't prefer it. You know, I still like the regular monster over that, but um, has a little bit of like a um low calorie, like low sugar aftertaste, because you know it reminds me of like the low carb monster, so makes it taste a little bit weird. But at first, though, it's pretty good. I'm definitely like a berry or a strawberry type of taste. But yeah, definitely try it though if you can find it. It's actually pretty good. But um, yeah, <sighs> I do like it, but um. I definitely prefer a lot of the other G Fuels over this one. But still, like, um, oh, it's still pretty lit, though. And it will get you lit, you know, just saying. But yeah, I'm going to give the new limited edition Ragin' Gummy Fish G Fuel Energy Drink. <sighs> Probably going to give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh, yeah, boys, it's lit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I give it a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Definitely has a good berry flavor. But the aftertaste reminds me of, like, the low-carb monster. So if you like that, you might like this. Not really for sure, though. But energy-wise, this will get you lit. It's really strong. The OD drink in moderation. Has a cool can design. It's okay price. It's limited edition. So, you know, you try to need to get it soon, you know. Just saying if you want it. But yeah, still definitely try to give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh, yeah, boys, it's lit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I get a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Anyway, my next two reviews are going to be two more G Fuel energy drinks. Sitting for those reviews. And they're both, like, tropical flavors. So that's going to be interesting. But anyway, see more of these in more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye. Yo, I think I forgot to say energy-wise, it lasts about five and a half hours, about six and a half hours of energy. May work more. It's really strong, you know. Don't OD drink in moderation. And um, I drank some more of it. And um, it does have a little bit of like a cherry cinnamon taste. It reminds me a little bit of like the old monster salt, you know. So ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah, boys, ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the old design monster salt better than the newer design, but you know what I mean? This reminds me of that though. So yeah, but anyway. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.